Right, started on the Indian. Gearbox was in it, which we knew. Had a look inside, it was full of swarf, um, where all the holes have been cleaned out. So I stripped the gearbox, cleaned all the internals out, and then the main thing you have to do is set up your end, your main shaft end float. Yep. It should have been between five and ten thousandths of an inch, and it had about a quarter of an inch. So found one of the shim washers was cracked in half, you can't use that. I've, I've put multiple washers in there to make the space up. So what I need to do, they do them in all different sizes. But now I know the end floats right, then I can measure those and order the right ones because they have to be a certain hardness. Yeah. Yeah. So you can't just use a washer. It, it doesn't. It's got to be a hardened, machined, and ground shim. Okay. Okay. So they're in there. I've got to take the gearbox back out anyway. Um, so. I know what I've got to order, that's all set up, goes in and out of all the gears nicely. Now I take that out and now I can get the engine in. Because then I've got to ring Kim, because you can't put this on until I've got the belt drive and all the dynamo mount, yeah? Yeah. But we can get the engine in and I can start doing some other bits and pieces on it. First, second, third, obviously that gear leaves in the wrong place. But that's it back into neutral. All working well there's um one washer missing off of here because all your kickstart system goes on there there should be a cupped washer that holds the spring that's missing so we'll have to order one of those they're all sort of pennies bits but you get a list together and then i can he, kim can either get them he might have better contacts get them quicker or something you know yeah. so i want to take the gearbox out get the engine in and then sort out where all the bolts go and we can probably put all the footballs on it then started sort of coming together but once the engine's in i can put the gearbox back in properly um because it you have to get that engine plate in there because it goes in between the gearbox and the frame so you have to get those on then you can play around putting the gearbox back in but once that you can leave that plate in but once that's out basically the whole frame does that it pivots on there yeah you've got to go in through the holes here Right. So that's that. But what you need to do is when that comes out of there. So all I mean I've measured all of this up, it all it all weld intolerance. And then there's another thrust washer in there, which I should get out later because I've got to take basically when you build these gearboxes, everything inside there goes in through that hole. Okay. So they're quite a fiddly thing to do. So what I've got to do is add up those three and then the one on the other side, get that measurement as well, add them all together and then by two of equal division. Yeah. So it sets the main shaft in nice and square, yeah? Yeah, that gearbox was um, seriously full of swarf and stuff so it needed to be cleaned out. might be easier just to take the back end of the frame off, I'm not sure yet. Don't want to ruin that gasket, let's put him somewhere safe. Right. Okay. So basically, what we've got to do is I think it's going to be safer and easier to take the rear of the frame off. What's your concern then? The engine sits in between that plate and that plate, yeah, which is over here. Okay. And that goes in there. Like that. Okay? Mm -hmm. It'll pull in square. But you're never going to get the engine, hold the engine in there and hook that plate in. No. So, in theory, I think we're going to have to take the back of the frame off. Okay. Just, just pivot it out of the way, then you can get your engine plates on properly. Yeah. Lift the engine into place, and it'll all go over there on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Which is what we don't want. So, 
spreading that lets you get and then you can hopefully slide your plate your frame back in that way yeah okay so we'll have to take the seat off So, I think the best way to do it is probably put some wood under there, isn't it? Just don't want to mess up the powder coating, you know? So now we can get our engine plates. Just make sure I know what I'm getting into, getting it all in the right place. Right, so we know we're not going to get trapped there. It's not the lightest thing to try and put together, you know? It's all going to be in the way and very annoying, but it's better to take five minutes now, isn't it? Oh, God, yeah. I can't remember how tight the heads are in these when they go in, but... Ourselves. It's actually easier to lay everything on its side and do it when you, you know. Yeah, I can imagine. Well, we're here, we'll have to try. Can you shoot that piece of wood just under the bottom for me? I don't know which bolt's the right one at the moment, but I've got one in there. Well, that'll do us. It's the wrong bolt, but it will hold it all together for the moment. I've done with the other front plate. There it is. I'll put all grease behind these when it before it finally gets tightened up. All I'm doing at the moment is just getting everything in there. So it's all connected, yeah? Yeah. And then I can play around and change all the bolts and tighten everything up when it's all up together again. Trying to get a nice nip on one of these because it's the uh, trying to get those in so the frame can slip in when we do that. Right, let's nip that up. Pretty tight fit, aren't it? Mm. See how easy it would be to scratch it though. Got gotcha. you. Now we can put the right bolts in the right places with a bit of luck. That's the general idea anyway. So we know that bolt's right. That should pivot off of there. That one in as a temporary. Now we've got to try and wiggle the gearbox in that hole there. Right, 
got to slide in at exactly the right angle. <coughs> get to that probably just about get to that okay what I'll have to do is go through the parts manual and just check and see whether they should have flat washers where they should have them yeah um, but let's just get it all in for the moment and we know where we're at, yeah? Right, pretty much it for getting that lot in. Like I say, I'll look through the parts books now and definitely work out what washers go where. People put washers on these, it doesn't necessarily mean it had them. You know, they, they wouldn't have wasted it. it might have a lock washer on them but i doubt whether they put a flat on it or a flat that side okay it would just been wasting money the parts book should tell me which way through all the bolts go as well yeah then i can centralize up all my casing bolts get it all locked down in solid bob's your uncle fanny's your aunt right your mother's brother Right, that's about it for getting the engine in. I'm pleased with that. Nowhere near as painful as I thought. Cool.